It was Andy Terry himself who spotted the device attached to the underside of his car on the driver's side. He says he's security conscious and always checks the vehicle before driving off. The car was parked some distance away from the Terry home on the Ballybean estate at Dundonald. In the subsequent security operation, the police say 30 families were moved from their homes as army bomb experts fired one round at the suspect package before successfully dismantling the device. An eyewitness said the bomb was inside a plastic box, possibly in a lunchbox or ice cream container, with one wire leading to the steering at the front of the vehicle. Andy Terry wouldn't comment as the security operation continued, but later he said he thought that the IRA were most likely to be responsible for the attack. The most likely people is the provisional IRA, but in my position I'm open to every crank and every agent that lives about this province who might find it a good idea to annoy Andy Terry or do him in. So, as far as I'm concerned, I would naturally blame the provisional IRA or the NLA. Do you always check your car in the mornings? Oh, yes. Has the thought crossed your mind at all that this might be some kind of attack by uh, a faction from within your own organisation, the UDA? I, I doubt that very much. I doubt that very much. Any suggestions that, that come from any members of the UDA uh, to, su- to, to say that you are under pressure and that you're uh, being asked to, to leave your position are incorrect? It's a load of rubbish because you must have observed by being in here. But I was speaking to the members of the Council of the Ulster Defence Association because they immediately uh, got in touch with me this morning. They wanted to come to my home. And matter of fact, they're the ones that orchestrated the meeting today. So there's, there's no problem there. Absolutely none. Following John McMichael's murder last December at the hands of the IRA, Andy Tirrey says he's cautious about personal security. Although in a statement issued later this afternoon, the IRA said that they were not involved in today's attack at Dundonald. The police said the device consisted of a detonator and one pound of what they initially described as an unknown mix. After forensic examination, the RUC confirmed that the substance was a new kind of explosives mixture. Little is known about it, except that as one source put it, this substance hasn't ever been found in an IRA bomb.